Yo guys, what's up? I have another free pick video for you today. These are for the NBA picks on Sunday. So it is the last day of the regular season, meaning we have 15 games with every NBA team. So we're going to go ahead and look at all the matchups and I'm going to give you guys my two favorite picks like I always do in this video. We're going to get into that in a second. First, let's recap the last video. So our last video was an MLB video. We went one for two on that, but then the video before that was for NBA on Friday and we literally went between VIP picks and YouTube went 8-0 on slips. Hit every single play on sleeper like you guys can see right here. Absolutely insane day. So I'm so hyped to get back to the NBA. I cannot wait. And we're going to get right into the video today. First, I just want to ask guys, please, I'm grinding these videos out every single day. I give you guys my favorite two picks every single day. All I ask is please subscribe, guys. It is literally free. Obviously, it takes one second to do. And it's going to help you guys out just as much as it helps me out. But I ask because 70% of you guys that watch my videos are still not subscribed, guys. So it would mean the world to me if you could go ahead and subscribe. So please, please go do that before we get into this video. And also like the video if you could as well. Uh, please and thank you. But now let's get into the video. So guys, this is the most important part of the video. Okay, do not skip this part. The rest of the video will not make as much sense. And it will probably be more annoying for you guys if you skip this part. Okay, so please just listen. I'm going to make this very quick and simple for you guys. Okay, I have been saying this for a while now guys but personally i do not use price picks i'm going to do the picks in this video on price picks or at least i'm going to try to i'm going to attempt to just because it's the most popular app and everyone understands the layout but personally i don't bet on sleeper okay so the reason i don't and i'm explaining this because i get some comments people are saying oh it's just a sales pitch you know he's just trying to get people on sleeper or whatever guys I'm trying to get people on sleeper because the whole reason I created this channel was to give you guys sports betting advice and to help you guys be better at sports betting, whether that's through plays or strategies, whatever the case may be, it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to help you guys be better at sports betting, right? I use sleeper because a friend got me on sleeper a while ago and I started seeing how their app works. And I realized the reason their app is good is because they know they're not as popular as these apps like prize picks or underdog. So they have to catch up in some way. The way they try to catch up is they do things like $500 deposit match. Every other app only it does a $100 deposit match. They also drop more promos than any other app. They have their own protected Friday, like Flex Friday, right? It's their version of Flex Friday. They have their own version of Taco Tuesday called Wild Card Wednesday. So they have just as much, if not more promos than everyone else. $500 deposit match. They have lower lines than everyone else. They even have adjustable lines where you can move the lines down to make it easier for you, yourself to hit. So the whole reason it's a good app is because they know they're new and they know they have to catch up to these apps somehow, guys. Okay. So I please, please, guys, listen to what I'm saying. It's going to help you guys out whether you use my plays or not, or just your own plays. It doesn't matter. Overall, you will make more money if you're on the sleeper app. I know I have, and I know everyone else watching has and everyone in the community that i've built so far has as well you guys can read these comments these are legit comments of people that watch my videos got on sleeper and started making way more money we even have a whole group chat on sleeper now that you guys can join as well where we talk about the plays talk about the games and it's just a great time over on sleeper so you guys can use code ghost if you want a 500 dollars deposit match which is insane that is like I said, every other app only does 100 bucks. That is a free 500 bucks, guys. Deposit matches are the best thing in sports betting, in this whole sports betting world. So get a $500 deposit match. There's no reason not to do that unless it's illegal in your state for some reason. But if it's legal, go do that, okay, guys? But with that being said, now that you guys know that, I'm going to do it on price picks, like I said, just so that people where it's illegal in their state, um, they still have prize picks they can put the plays in as well. The first play we're going to do is we're going to do Anthony Davis. I actually have this play originally done on sleeper, but I'm going to show you guys the prize picks version of it. My prize picks version of it is, let's see where they put it. Okay. 24 and a half points. We're going under 24 and a half for Anthony Davis. He's playing the Pelicans. Yes. This is a pretty important game for the Lakers and also kind of the Pelicans as well. Um, just as far as seeding and ranking goes, because every thing is so close in the west and all the teams are so close in the west but anthony davis 24 and a half they're taxing with that line okay that's crazy i think 23 and a half sounds good you guys might be saying you just said 24 and a half is crazy but you think the line should be at 23 and a half yeah i legitimately do that's how big of a difference that just that one or 0.5 can be 24 and a half it's too high 
a lot of the times we see him sitting at around 23 and a half. So I think setting his line at 24 and a half when he's playing a Pelicans defense, which is a their very, very good defense this year. You guys can see this game just don't even mind that game. He played, I think, eight minutes in that game. So just ignore that game. He does get very close to this line, guys. If you take this play, don't freak out if he's at 20 points at the end of, towards the end of the game. He's going to get close. The odds of him going out there and scoring five points, unless he gets hurt or in crazy foul trouble or insane blood or something, it's not going to happen, okay? He's going to get close, but that's why I'm saying 24 and a half is crazy because I can easily see him getting 22 23 he might even get 24 but he's not i do not see him getting 25 points against this defense in this game no way i love his points line on uh, prize picks right here if you have to take a prize picks play for him that's my favorite one on prize picks but like i was saying the one that i like more is on his where is it is on his first quarter points right here so if you guys do end up getting on sleeper um, which again, I heavily recommend you guys do because I like this play a lot more. Or if you guys are already on sleeper, we're going to end up taking Anthony Davis under eight and a half first quarter points. This line is crazy. This is one of those lines. I'm taking a sip of water. I spit my water out looking at this line. Eight and a half is insane. This for first quarter points, like I just said, a 0.5 or a one point difference is a huge difference, right? Especially when it comes to a first quarter line. This line should only be set at seven and a half almost every single game. The fact it's set at eight and a half, especially against the Pelicans, crazy line right there. That is insane. You guys can see, um, again, ignore the Minnesota game, but he misses against Cleveland. You guys can't see the other games, but I went back and looked at the games. He's right. He's just like this Cle Cleveland game, right under five points, six points, seven points. But he rarely goes over that nine point threshold. You guys can see he did go over it against uh, Memphis and he went over it against Washington, right? But those are two completely expected games. We literally took him in the last game to go over against Memphis. You guys might have seen that play up there that we hit. So we knew he, gonna, he was going to go off against Memphis. We also took him against Washington. So literally on this YouTube channel, I took him in both of these games right here. I knew he was going to go over. Everyone knew he was going to go over. Those are two horrible defenses. But when he plays even a mediocre defense, especially a good defense like the Pelicans, he rarely goes over this line. He averages like six points against better defenses like this. Love under eight and a half points in the first quarter. Absolutely love it. Okay, so if you guys are on sleeper, if it's legal in your state and you got this, love that play. Lock that play in before it gets bumped down. I'm very scared it's going to get bumped down to seven and a half. So please go get that before it gets bumped down to seven and a half. Get that at eight and a half while you guys still can, okay? Um, the second play we're going to do is we're going to go over to Damian Lillard and this play I love. Okay. And again, this is another big problem I run into on uh, prize picks is being a YouTuber trying to give you guys the best plays. I try to give them to you guys as early as possible so they don't get bumped. Like I was just talking about Anthony Davis. I don't want the lines to get bumped. I want you guys to get it at the best possible line you can. Price Picks makes my life hard in that situation. They don't have it up yet, but that's fine. If you guys are on Price Picks, they will have it up. They might have it at a little bit different line, but you guys can still take it. It is Damian Lillard over 10 and a half assists and rebounds. Love this line. Absolutely love this line. All you guys need to know about the game itself is it Milwaukee and Orlando are both in situations where they're going to play their starters. They're going to play their stars. They're going to play the game, right? This isn't one of those games. You guys don't need to worry about them sitting starters out super early or anything like that because the game doesn't matter. The game definitely matters when it comes to seating, okay? That's all you need to know about the game itself. Other than that, Orlando is actually obviously a very good defense, right? I'm not going to act like they're not a good defense. The reason I feel comfortable taking this is because Giannis is out. Every time Giannis has been out this year, I slam Damian Lillard over assists and rebounds. And he's only set at 10.5 right now, which is insane because he just got 15 against them with Giannis out. But right now with Giannis out on this season, he averages right around 15 assists and rebounds. A couple, uh, a couple weeks ago when Giannis was out, 
He had 19, and then he had 10 one game, but the 10 was against the Celtics, so obviously one of the best defensive teams in the league. He was being guarded by Drew Holiday the, the whole game. So literally like the best defense in the league, especially against guards, or at least top three, he still got 10. Okay, Orlando's a great defense. They're up there, but you guys can see he just got 15 against them. I'm taking this at 10.5 all day long. Like I said, this play is definitely still going to be on prize picks as well. It's probably going to get placed at 11 because realistically, this play probably makes more sense at 11. The only reason it's at 10 and a half on Sleeper is because Sleeper doesn't do flat bets. So they will never put a line at like 11 or 12 or 10. They're always going to put a 0.5 behind it. So right now, at least, they have it at 10.5. So they're either going to put it at, keep it at 10.5 right here or maybe bump it to 11.5, but I don't think they're going to, I don't see them bumping it to 11.5, at least not for a while. So you guys should get this play at 10 and a half on sleeper on price fix. Like I said, it's probably going to get put at 11, but that's why, again, when I said sleeper lines are lower, I'm not just making that up. It's because they do 0.5 behind everything. So it makes the lines way easier to hit for us. So you guys can go put this play in, um, Anthony Davis under eight and a half first quarter points. And then Damian Lillard over 10 and a half assists and rebounds. Same thing over on prize picks, Anthony Davis, but we're going to do under 24 and a half points. And then when Damian Lillard comes out, you guys are going to take him over assists and rebounds. And then those are the two picks that I have for you guys in this video. Again, guys, please go ahead, drop a like on the video if you could. It really helps me out. I would really, really appreciate it. And then go ahead and subscribe. I post these videos every single day, give you guys my favorite player props. And we always try to shoot at least 70% on this channel. We even recap it, make sure we're hitting our percentages, make sure we're hitting what we want, which a lot of YouTubers don't do anymore, which is very annoying. And if we lose, I'm completely honest when we lose. Very, you know, back and forth channel here, very transparent here, okay? But go ahead, also drop a comment if you guys like these picks, if you guys have your own picks that you like, um, or if you've been tailing the picks lately or hitting off the picks, let me know in the comments. I always love to see that. I always love to like and reply to all your guys' comments. But other than that, guys, those are the picks for today. Good luck with your bets, and I'll catch you in the next video.